Hi guys, uh, welcome to my channel Digitech and uh, I'm your host Yasser Iqbal and uh, in this video we'll be talking about that how can you unprotect the excel sheet or excel workbook from the password protected file. Now uh, if we move forward we can see that we have actually uh, talking about three topics in that one. So how you can unlock the excel sheet if there are multiple sheets in a uh, in a workbook and you have only one sheet is protected how can you unlock that or you can un uh, unlock the workbook uh, the whole workbook is being protected so how can you unlock that or if the workbook it is read only how can you uh, unlock that one also so we'll be talking about this in a step by step so let's jump into the excel sheet with the sample data over there and we'll talk about how we can do that so I have uh, this data into my one of my folder and that is the file that which I have a testing data. Now uh, just to protect the uh, sheet how you can protect them just click over here in under the review tab click on the protect sheet and put your password. I have put the password it will ask you to put again the same password i have protected it and now this sheet which remember it is the sheet number one you cannot do any editing for example i put anything now it will say it is protected so you cannot do that the important thing is that you should remember that which sheet under the workbook you have protected so i have protected the sheet number one i'm saving this file and i'm going to close this one now uh this file i'm i have to remove the coding without any software without anything I'm just uh, just playing within uh, inside and in the windows and we can do it easily uh for your sake just make a copy of that one how you can make a copy just hold the control key and drag this file and it has make the duplicate file of you you can also do that by clicking on the right way uh, on the right click and uh, going into more options and then copy the file in as a duplicate or anyhow i mean in any ways you can make a duplicate of this one for this one if you see that this has extension of excel as x but it is not showing you over there we have we need to have it so it is it is not showing so what how we can see that just click on the view under the show Tab, it is giving you giving a file name extension just click on that and now you can see that it is giving you the file extension of that what I'm going to do I'm just going to make it make the rename of that one and instead of xlsx I'm going to put dot zip it's asking me to if you I want to really change this extension I say yes and now it's a zip file so just get into this this zip file and under the excel folder over here you uh, you see that there is one more folder which is the worksheet so click on the worksheet and now you have all the sheets inside that workbook under that one this is the sheet one which we have basically put the password protected now open one more folder i have actually created the folder before and this uh, file which we have protected just drag this one and bring it over here now open this file with the uh, with the zip file uh sorry with the notepad and you see that it's coding it's showing over there just press ctrl f and find the sheet protection there as soon as you find it it show you that the coding where this file is being protected so you see the purple color it is showing over here so what you have to do from the less than till greater than sign you have to delete that one just select that one as soon as the hole is selected it will turn into the grayish color see the grayish color is coming just delete this file save this one as control s and close this file once this work is done just drag this file back into the same folder from which you have originally bring into 
now it's asking you that you want to copy and replace the existing so yes we want to do that just do this thing and now go back to your file which you make the zip one now you have to rename again into the xlx6 so instead of zip i'm going to put xlsx and it will ask me do you want to really change it i said yes and now it's changed but once i open this file now it this is the sheet one which we have protected at that time and see anything i'm putting over here it's allowing me to do that so we have uh, easily uh, make the change i mean we easily unprotected the sheet which we have protected before now we are closing that one and uh, we are removing from here the copy file so again this is our original file and after that one now we will be heading towards our next step which was unlocking the excel workbook so uh, we'll using the same pattern over here also we'll go into the review tab and we'll protect the workbook remember we are protecting the structural changes into the workbook so i'm going to put up the password for that it's asking me to put the same password again i have done it so once it is workbook protected see i cannot make any structural changes into that one and and uh, i cannot delete it i cannot rename it over here also you can see the tab has been crashed it's mean it is a um the workbook has been protected so i've just saved this file and i close it now uh, as i said to you that it will be the same procedure so just make a copy for your own sake how you can do that press control and just drag this file so the copy is here and now change its extension into the zip one so i rename it and i put it zip it's asking me to change it i said yes it's been done now open that zip folder under that excel folder is there now over here you see this workbook a file is here now as you remember we have already made one folder here the sheet i'm going to remove it we have workbook over here so i'm going to just track this one and put it into this folder this workbook will open under the notebook uh notepad sorry under notepad i will find this workbook protection so even if i put protect it will give it to me that where the coding is now you have the coding and the purple color from the uh with between the signs of the less than and the greater than just go back and select the whole one until it gets into the operation just delete it save this file and close it now what you have to do you have to bring back this file again into the workbook so do that copy and replace yes because we are we have all made we already made the changes and we have to copy the into the original folder so i yes i said it yes then just go back into the main file where you have made the zip file rename that one into xlsx it's asking you that i show you to do that i'm sure about it so i said yes now if you open the folder and i'm uh, sorry the file so it's corrupted but i mean if you open this file and for the same purpose we have the copy of that one and now see that this is being corrupted and for the same reason we have already made the copy of that one so in that case we if you see this copy is still is with us uh, we have already made the copy before uh, with us it is password protected so anyhow we'll do it again it's uh, it will not take too much long time but for our own sake i'm going to make a copy for this one once more time 
so the second copy is with me and i'm going to convert this one into the zip file the copy file it said yes i get into it xls we have i have workbook before i'm going to delete this one and i'm going to drag this file from here to here i'm going to open this one into the notepad and i'm going to find the workbook protection so i have which I'm going to delete I said yes I close this one I drag it down into the original file copy and replace now go back and change this one into Excel SX it's asking me to do that and I said yes and once I open it now see this protection is gone even if you right click over there all the, the uh, options are available it means that we can make the changes within the workbook so this was our second part I'm going to remove the copy even this was uh, uh it has an error to it over there so i've removed it over there now our third and last part is how to unlock the read only file so i'm going to make a uh, rename this one first of all i'm going to remove the word copy from here so i can have it this one like an original now how to make any file read only so for that what you have to do you have to save as that file into the same folder and and the tools go into the journal options under journal options there is an open and the modify so in modify i'm going to put up the password asking me to put it again I said okay and I'm going to save it yes, I said yes once I close it and I open it again you will see that this file is being read only file so I have to put the password over there or I can see the read only so I just if I click the read only I cannot make any changes it is only for me so uh, if i make a uh, save it will say that it's a read only file i cannot make changes so i'm what i'm going to do how i'm going to tackle this one in the same manner again hold control key make a copy of that one for our sake as we have already seen in our last case that that file was corrupted and we have to uh, left that file now uh, this file we are going to make a zip file by renaming it as a zip file so it's a zip file now under the excel you see the workbook is there we have a file before over there i'm going to remove that one so this workbook is here and i'm going to drag in this one now under this one i'm going to open it again with the notepad plus over here you will see the file sharing just search file sharing you see this uh, pepper color just showing to you that it has a code of the file sharing so i'm going to remove this part yes great just remove it by pressing delete save this file Close it and just track it back into the folder asking me to replace yes again go back 
and make this file by renaming this one as Excel SX. Now open that file and you see the password is gone. So we had three topics today to cover up over here that how we can unlock the Excel workbook or the Excel sheet or the password protected one and we have covered the, all the topics in this video. Thanks for watching and uh, be able, thanks for staying with me. Just subscribe my channel Digitech and we'll be right back with more of videos which will be helpful for you. For this time, I'm signing out. Thanks a lot.